Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com and EatingThaiFood.com. I am in Bangkok, Thailand, and I'm going to show you how to make the authentic recipe for Thai sticky rice. So it's fluffy and moist and absolutely delicious. Making Thai sticky rice is really quite easy, but it does take a little bit of planning ahead because you have to pre-soak the rice, and it's actually best to soak it overnight. Uh, or for at least four to five hours, but I usually soak my sticky rice overnight uh, Soak it when I go to sleep and then wake up in the morning and cook a fresh batch And so this is all this is is sticky rice uh, submerged in water I'm gonna quickly turn on my stove Actually should be about a medium heat I have a specific special uh, sticky rice boiling pot, which is common to use in Thailand, but all it really is is a round uh, cylinder pot. And I have it filled about a quarter way with water. Next, I'm gonna put on my bamboo steamer. And this is just a specific cone-shaped um, bamboo steamer. And this just goes right on top of the pot. Next step is to just take the sticky rice. And you can just drain out the excess water, but it doesn't need to drain too too much and then just directly transfer it into the basket and keep just transfer all of the rice okay and once you have all the rice in the basket just kind of spread it out like this and I like to cover it in a this is just a really fine cloth kind of like a cheese cloth that should be good and then I'm gonna top it with a lid and this is just a random pot lid not from this, uh, but just from a random pot. And that's gonna sort of create a seal, kind of keeping the steam inside of the sticky rice. And so this is gonna steam for about 15 to 20 minutes uh, once the water start, starts boiling. And after that, we should have pure, delicious, fresh sticky rice. It's been steaming for almost exactly 15 minutes and I think it's time to check it. I think it should be done. I'm gonna lift off the lid. Oh, that's pretty hot. Okay, you should definitely use a, like a hot pad or something. Take off the, the cloth. At this stage, you'll want to just grab a little taste test because it's so tempting and also to make sure that it's cooked properly. Oh yes, that is just glutinous and sticky and just so fresh and hot that is ready. Let me just grab my spoon and just sort of fluff it up a little bit. Oh, but yes, you can just see that is perfectly cooked, moist, and fresh sticky rice. Oh, and it is just a joy of life. At this stage, you could either immediately eat the sticky rice, or you can transfer it to a container, like a storing container, or like a thermos. Uh, but I'm gonna transfer it over to what in Thai is called a kati kaoniao, which is a basket, which is specifically made for storing sticky rice. And so, Many people in Isan, the northeastern region of Thailand, they will cook sticky rice in the morning and then they will transfer it over to a basket and it will just be available uh, to eat throughout the day. They'll eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner uh, and just eat it whenever they're hungry. So I'm going to transfer all the sticky rice over to my basket. And this basket will actually keep it hot, but also it will prevent it from getting crusty. So if you just leave it in the open air, it will get crusty and the, the grains will get hard, but this will preserve it. And that is a full basket of fresh kao niao. I'll quickly put the lid on. And now I have an entire kilo of fresh sticky rice to eat throughout the day. And I think the biggest trick is to just sto soak your sticky rice in water overnight or at least for four to five hours. And that's gonna give you the best turnout with your sticky rice. And again, I used a uh, traditional Thai Isan style steamer, uh, but you could really use anything you like to steam your, your sticky rice. Uh, this just is convenient to use, but I have even made rice in, uh, you could just use a cloth and just a pot with water and then just steam it some way, elevate it above the water and steam the rice like that. Um, or use an, a different kind of steamer would work well. Uh, but yeah, again, the main trick is to just soak your sticky rice overnight and you're gonna have beautiful, moist, sticky rice. 
So huge thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you have any questions. And I'll see you on the next food video.